Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were building up the back streets of Lordsport and in this episode we're going to be focusing on and starting to move towards the actual waterfront putting in a couple ships. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also guys if you're new to the series I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to both the playlist for Lordsport and also my full Let's Build series. Anyway, let's get into building. So the first thing I wanted to kind of start on is finishing up or really building up the waterfront itself because we've got all the houses behind it uh, from the last episode. I was kind of like really excited. I was like, oh wow, actually we're right close to the water. Let's actually get onto this. So that's why we're going to be doing this this episode. So I'm going to build up a big wall out of stone brick. Uh, I've tried to make it look quite nice and patterned, but also quite rough in terms of the shape following the coast. And this gives us a really nice platform, so we can actually have a couple of piers coming off this. This is going to be quite a bit of the lower port, so there's going to be a lot more smaller ships. The bigger kind of ships that have the most expensive cargo, they're going to be nearer the uh, kind of like noble district. So this is going to be like smaller kind of things. Luckily, actually, the hill itself um, was perfect for small warehouses, so I decided to put in this nice brick one here. And that actually, I'm really happy with how that looks at, um, on inside. And it's completely underneath all of the houses. I've also got another small area around. Now, if I ever get around to it, I think this is the perfect place to have or lead to a series of tunnels and sewers and things like that that can all kind of be linked up for a type of thieves guild. But you can see me just putting in lots of detail around here. Lots of the cargo that's being unloaded. It's going to be quite busy. I want Lordsport to feel really busy. Then coming around to the main road, so this is where on the left we've actually got that big Merchant's Guild tower. I want to complete this bit a bit and actually have the main road joining up to this kind of, uh, not really coastal road, but the bay kind of road where we've got the port. And of course that means more, uh, more buildings, more kind of uh, bigger buildings along this road. And because it is a major road, I want to make them look quite nice, quite fancy. And then we get the smaller kind of buildings uh, off of that when you get into these smaller roads. And I have now upgraded the server to 1.16 as well. So we've now got Blackstone. So I wanted to try it out. So this is one of the reasons. Um, I went with green again. This is actually becoming one of my favorite colors for using with buildings. I don't know why. It just seems to work really nicely. Um, but again, with angled buildings, I'm trying out different things. So this one, we've got another peak. This is being pushed forwards. I wanted to have some balconies, lots of windows. I wanted to have this bit pushed forwards as well. So... On the side street, it actually moves down quite a lot. You can't see it too clearly, but there's quite a few blocks that it goes down with a series of slabs. So I wanted to actually have this raised up bit uh, that you go into it. And then on the back of the Merchant's Guild kind of like side building, I want to make this look a lot fancier and push this out so we've got a bit of uh, a walkway to it. Then coming around to the side, I'm doing another archway. I'm just loving archways. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love them and having the buildings on top as well. But this is going to be the first one that I've actually done at an angle, and it was quite difficult to get the hang of where do the slabs and stairs go, but I'm pretty happy with how it actually turned out. So we've got this angled archway, which is wide enough for a cart and high enough for a, quite a big cart to come down. That was the main thing that I wanted to make sure I got. And then we've just got a side building on here. So with the side building, uh, going for with some typical kind of materials that I've been using in this build. So using the different dead corals that we've got as a kind of different stone kind of material that we got on the base. And then building this up and pushing this forwards. And I'm getting really, really comfortable now with angled buildings. Um, it's one of those things, guys, if you're afraid of it at first, uh, you have reason to be. But once you start getting into it, once you start practicing, honestly, it'll stick together. But there you go. You can see the archway now here and also the building over the top. I'm really happy with actually how both of those uh, worked out. Uh, the actual way to get to that building as well, I'm trying to sort all of this out now. Um, is through the white building so there's going to be a small uh, kind of like stairway that goes up and then there's going to be like an apartment uh, above that. So around the side of the and, and actually at the back of the green building that we've got here I want to put in a blacksmith. I've wanted to do a blacksmith for a while. We've got this I've got this really weird kind of area here where buildings are kind of mismatching into each other and we've got kind of triangular shape. I thought actually since the road's going in front of this let's make this into a blacksmith. We can't put any build, big building here we can do something like that so I can imagine you know, people needing, for example, nails for their ships or any other kind of bits of metal around. You know, they're going to need something. Uh, horseshoe repair, etc. and so forth. You're always going to need something. And also put in a fishmonger again because it, it is a seaside town or city even. Um, it's going to have lots of fish. It's going to be one of the biggest things. So, you know, similar to Britain, having fish and chips around and, you know, with um, Japan as well. Um, lots of kind of like fish gets into the actual culture itself. 
So coming around to the side here, I wanted to build another big building. This is just off of the side and really kind of narrows the street. So with this street going down to the lower docks, because it's not the major docks, I wanted to obscure the vision. I want What I want to do is when uh, people explore this city, they kind of wander around, they go through these smaller streets and everything kind of opens up and you get a view of uh, what's going on. I don't want you just have to have a straight vision and then see everything, you know, I want it to be a journey. So I built this building on the side here, uh, again, experimenting with different angled parts of it. But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. Lots packed into it. So we've got this nice green building here. Uh, any ideas for what you think I should go with this? I'm thinking restaurant for this one. We've got the archway over this main road here. Now I've added lots of detail in underneath this. So we've actually got a small place where a homeless person is actually sleeping here. Um, we've also got a small like fire storage kind of thing there. Uh, we've got a carpenter on the side as well. We've got the blacksmith, we've got the fishmonger. We've got a car at an angle as well. So I'm really trying to make it feel more alive here. And you can see all the detail that we've got. There's uh, even steps going up on the sides of these buildings fitting in, but you can see how nice and cramped it is. And of course, we've also got a series of ships. Now guys, because I know you're ass, I'm going to put all the links to the tutorials of those ships in the description and as they come out, so that'll kind of update over time. But that is it guys for this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.